Greetings comrades and welcome. I'm Geralt and I'm here today with the second tutorial for Soviet Republic workers and resources. Getting resources. Uh, and then getting workers probably? I don't know, but they sound very important. So, let's jump into it. Build a gravel mine. Gravel mines have to be built on rocky hills. More rocks surrounding the mine mean better efficiency. Makes complete sense. Miscellaneous. Okay. Gravel quarry. Gravel quarry. We have two. Oh, I guess one of them is bigger than the other. Oh, yeah, it seems so. Oh, it has some kind of an input. Oh, cool. Super cool. Ah, maybe it needs fuel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Okay, so for today... For today, we just need a small one. Perfect work. Oh, we start with perfect. Buy an excavator for the gravel mine. Gravel mines require an excavator or workers to function properly. Let's click. Purchase new vehicle or mechanism. Excavator. Cool stuff. But this is going to require fuel, no? Pretty sure. Build a gravel processing plant. Raw stone has to be properly processed into usable gravel. Like, that's one of the things that this game is so great about. Like, no step of the process of producing anything is missed. In this case, we are going to have the processing plant right next to the gravel mine. So, great stuff. Buy a vehicle that is able to transport stone. Different vehicles can transport different cargo. You always have to pick up the right one for the job. Correct. That's another thing that you have to remember for this game. Everything has to be micromanaged and everything is very specific about its purpose. Do I have to buy it from here? No, that's for... that's buying resources. Ah, we already have the road vehicles depot. Okay. Show all. Dumper. Yeah, dumpers, they carry the basic resources. Excellent. Lenny would be proud. But of course he will. I am already. At the first stop. Use your new dumper vehicle to transport stone from the mine to the processing plant. We already know how to do that. Interesting. So if I just click on it. Ah, yeah. So this time it opens. Okay. New stop. Uh, maybe we should remove this and put this one here. So from here, good job. And then to the processing plant. Exactly. Perfect work. And let's start. Where is it? Build a woodcutting post. Woodcutting posts have to be built near a forest. The more trees surround a woodcutting post, the more trees workers can cut down. That makes complete sense. Woodcutting post. Maximum number of workers 10. Maximum daily 6 tons of wood. Stations for vehicles. Loading. Parking sports for vehicles. Open space storage 50 tons. Everything. Everything has to be taken in consideration. Oh, and we even see the area of effect. Awesome stuff. Good work. Buy a vehicle for the wood cutting post. Wood cutting posts require a vehicle that can transport wood from the forest. Ah, so we can actually buy it from here. Ah, so these ones are going to be part of the wood cutting post itself. I don't think they will transport wood from the wood cutting post to other places. We already have workers here, which is cool. You're doing great. Build a sawmill. Sawmills are used to turn wood into boards that can be later used for construction. Makes all the sense. You're doing great, comrade. Thank you, comrade. Create a factory connection between the woodcutting post and some wheel. Factory connections can be used between certain buildings to easily transport resources. Factory connections cannot exceed a certain length. Yes. That is true, and I remember that that was a big problem in the 
first versions of the game. I hope that they improved on that. Due to the factory connection. There we go. And now the resources will transport themselves automatically from the... Uh, wood... What was it? How was it called? Wood cutting post to the sawmill. Build an iron mine. Like, this is one thing the transport fever definitely uh, needed. Build an iron mine. Iron mines have to be built over iron ore deposits. You can view available iron ore deposits on your minimap or as yellow or green dots while placing mine. Yeah, I prefer the minimap, but... Okay. The amount of iron deposits beneath your iron mine determines the efficiency of your mine. Oh! Iron, right? Iron, yeah. So iron is the third one. We have coal, iron, oil, uranium, and bauxite. Cool stuff. I'm curious if they are planning to add more. It will be very nice to see more with time. Okay, so we need iron. It would be very nice to also see it here on the other map. I mean, sure, I can see it there, but... Ugh. Okay. Ooh, very, very green. So, everything that is red, there is no iron. Everything that is green, there is plenty of iron. Perfect work. Built an iron processing plant. Iron ore has to be processed into usable iron aggregate. I think you're getting the point at, uh, right now. Like, everything here takes multiple stages of processing. Oh, and now you will probably notice how we are going to build a conveyor engine. I love those when I play the game. Conveyors can be used to transport certain resources between some buildings. Conveyor engines can be used to transport these resources over larger distances or to adjust the angles of input and output buildings. Exactly. So, conveyor engine transfer. Why is there so many? I am curious. Uh, anyway, these are super cool, but they are very expensive. Uh, both in money and in resources, if you're going to construct them without money. Now we will have to build the connections as well. Good job. Connect the iron mine and the processing plant. There we go. Good job. Build a cargo aggregate loading station for road vehicles. This station can be used to load process iron into road vehicles. You can also load aggregates directly from the storage, but since there are no loading mechanisms, it will be much slower. Correct. So you can actually send um, vehicles directly to the processing plant or to the mine. You see here you have like parking spots and these ones here are for the processing plant. But it is much slower because they kind of have to do it by hand. However, you in this game can have these stations nearby and they're going to take input from the producing building, either mine or processing plant. And they're going to load the vehicles much faster. Connect the iron processing plant to the loading station. We will need conveyor belts. Good job. Buy a vehicle that can transport iron. Okay, buying. It's a dumper again. Why are we buying the other dumper? I don't know, but maybe just to make a difference. Have different... To make a difference, to have a variety of vehicles for this tutorial. Set up the vehicle to load iron. You see, the first time I click on it, nothing happens. The second time, it finally opens. Ah, and now it closes. I don't understand. Can you pin me? Yes. Awesome. Okay, so we are going to take it from the new aggregate load station to... Oh, so we are going to sell it. So we are going to the customs house. Excellent. Lenin would be proud. Yeah, we are already exporting stuff. We are going to make money like that. Good job. Build a farm. Farms can contain all the vehicles that are required to work on the fields. 
Okay, where is our farm going to be? Here. Small farm. I'm pressing R, by the way. You can press R to turn it around 90 degrees. Perfect work, comrade. Do the field. Fields are used to grow crops. Fields have to be close to a farm. The farm will automatically send mechanisms to seed or harvest and will send trucks to transport the harvested crops back to the farm. Hmm, they also improved this mechanic from what I can see. Perfect work. Buy a tractor for the farm. Tractors are used to sow the crops. So you need uh, farms and you need uh, a place where... So basically you grow the things here and you keep all your vehicles in the farm. Tractor. And they kind of become part of the farm itself. Buy a combine for the farm. Combines are used to harvest the crops. And these vehicles become part of the farm and then they start working on all the fields that you have plopped. No trucks available. Buy a covered hill vehicle for the farm. Covered hill vehicles are used to transport crops from the field. You're doing great, comrade. Build a pump jack. Pump jacks have to be built over oil deposits. You can view available oil deposits on your minimap or while placing the rig. The amount of oil pump jack can extract depends on location. Well, that's typical for all the resources that you can uh, get from the ground. So we have plenty here, I think, from what I can see. Pump jack or refinery. Oh, we have plenty of stuff, right? Okay, we're going to press it on top of all the green. Perfect work. Now we will have to build more infrastructure for the oil. Build a rail pumping station. This station can be used to fuel cisterns, wagons or trains. So, it's the same concept as with the processing plant. It's an oil fuel loading and loading station. So, basically, you can quickly load vehicles. Now we're going to connect it with pipes. Build the pipeline connecting the rig and the pumping station. Perfect work. Build a rail depot. Rail depots are the starting building for trains. You can use them to buy trains and arrange train sets. Okay. Train depot. So here we are going to... It's a normal depot where you usually buy the trains, of course. Now we're going to connect it to our loading station. And we are going to also connect that to the customs depot. So I guess we are going to start selling this. You're doing great, comrade. Buy a diesel locomotive. You're doing great. Buy three cistern wagons. Interesting. Total capacity. We have so many filters here. It's so cool. Ooh, and plenty of uh, sort values. Great stuff. Great work. So now we say, okay. Now we are probably going to use the pumping station. And then we are going to go to the customs. There we go. And of course, start the vehicle as with everything else. Ignore red signal. Oh, that's new. Have to see. This is all for this tutorial. Oh, is it? Oh. Start next? Uh, not right now. Let's just see what happens here. Now we're going to get some oil. Ooh, 180 tons. For such a small train? That's super cool, to be honest. How much can you produce? 
oil. Not much to be honest, quality of source 99%, that's pretty good. Current production 7 tons of oil per workday. So yeah, so like past two days and something before we sent the train. Yay, go fast. And now when we get to the customs, we're going to sell it and get some money. Ah, and you also see the current value, of course. Good stuff, good stuff. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. I hope this was useful to you and you will help others see it by liking the video. If you have any questions, problems or you are stuck, let me know in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next one by subscribing to the channel. And as always, thank you for watching.